You previously built a registration view with an HTML form that collected the first and last name, email address, and password from a site visitor. However, it was never finished to work. This video will take you through the final steps with the form in order to register a new client and insert their information into the database. You will add a name value pair intended to trigger the controller to undertake the registration process and send the data to the controller. We will also add the required method and action attributes to the opening form tag. Begin by finding and opening the registration.php view. It should be in the view folder of the site. Scroll to the bottom of the form and locate the submit input element. If it is missing, add it as shown in the video. Create an empty line beneath the element and add a new input element as shown in the video. Make sure the code is correct and that there are no error icons or underlines. When done, save the file. Scroll up to the top of the form and find the opening form tag. Add the method and action attributes as shown in the video. The method attribute tells the browser how to send the data. Two choices exist, get and post. Get is typically used when the data is sent in order to read something back. Post is typically used when data is sent to the server to be written and stored. The action attribute tells the browser where to send the data. In our case, we will tell it to send the data to the accounts controller. Add the two attributes and values, or edit the attributes so that they have the appropriate values as shown. Remember the view is stored in the view folder, while the accounts controller is in the accounts folder. We will use a path relative to the site root to describe the path to be followed to the controller. When done, check for errors and compare your code to that shown in the video. Notice that for the four inputs, we are using the database field names as the value of the name attribute. That will help keep the data trail clear as to what data is being sent and what data is to be collected. Save the file. In the next activity, the accounts controller will be updated in order to process the registration data and store it to the database.